Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy, and uh, today we are going to do a trailer reaction to, um, I guess they put out a teaser for the new Monster Hunter movie uh, starring Mila Jovovich. They put out a teaser yesterday, and uh, it looks like it's only 17 seconds long, is that right? Like, uh, So this is going to be a really quick reaction, but I just wanted to get something out there because I, I think there was a previous trailer, and uh, I don't know if I didn't post a reaction to it, but I did, I think I saw it, I, I feel like... I feel like it takes place in the desert or something, which doesn't make any real sense if you've played the video games. I mean, there is one territory in the game that's desert-ish, but there's like plant life and really interesting looking creatures and stuff. So I figure we'll do a quick reaction to this, and if it sucks, then we'll just maybe pull up one of the trailers for the video games and we'll do a reaction to that instead. So uh, without further ado, let's dive into this. Uh, Monster Hunter is a game that I'm recently got into uh I, I went to my first e3 a couple years ago uh thanks to a friend of mine called dead eye shots who's also a streamer and a gamer and he gifted me a, a ticket uh basically to to you know so i could get that experience but also to help me bring more content to my gaming stuff with on you know on twitch and on my gaming channel and uh, and then i went again last year and uh, you know i just I, I love e3 i had a lot of fun and that was my first exposure a couple years ago to monster hunter world and I've been a Capcom fan my whole life with Resident Evil, Mega Man, uh, you know, 1942 was the first uh, Capcom game I played. And I've been a big fan of Capcom ever since and, and loved all their games, Street Fighter, everything. But I never got into the Monster Hunter stuff. And so Monster Hunter World pulled me in and now we stream it every Tuesday on my gaming channel with my friend Lonely Symbiote and Sean. So uh, so definitely check out our live streams over there. So without fear, you know, I've already I talked more. I said I, said I wasn't going to, um, but let's get into this real quick. Let's watch this. Uh, I should have had it pulled up already, so give me a second, because an ad might play. Oh my goodness, it's an ad. Oh no, it's not an ad. Okay, so I had to cut there because the trailer played automatically, and then I thought it was an ad at first because it had this big cartoonish lettering that says something big right at the front of the trailer. And I'm like, oh, okay, I thought that was some kind of ad for like a, a Minions movie or something because of the font of the text or whatever. And then it started playing, and I'm like, oh, and then it it froze like halfway through the 17 second trailer so uh yeah so it must have sucked really bad because my computer didn't even want to play it properly so uh yeah i'm just obviously i'm just joking let's get into this uh it's from ign so i'll put a link to this trailer teaser whatever i guess it's a teaser trailer it's literally 17 seconds long which is a silly thing because i think they released like a, a trailer before already that was maybe a minute long so it seems weird to backtrack and do a 17 second trailer, but I think this is just to announce that the movie's been pushed back to 2021, which makes sense. Um, so anyway, so sorry about that. So here we go. What the hell is that? I got six. Uh. Oh. Holy shit. Well, his only in theaters in December. I doubt that. <laughs> I, I, I doubt it's coming out in December. Um, yeah, so it shows, it shows a Diablos as the, as the creature. Um, so we have in it, we have uh, Lieutenant Artemis. Uh, I, I don't think that, I don't know if that's a character from the other games, but I don't, I think Monster Hunter World, you kind of create your own character. So, cause I was, I play a character that looks like Storm from the X-Men. Um, and she kind of runs around in like this like awesome, like suit like she's you know like gonna do magic or something <laughs> um but uh, like that's just like a random skin I, I chose to put on the character but I, I put armor on underneath so she's got like you know she's like level I think I'm only level 15 right now so I'm pretty early on kind of in the game like still still playing it um but uh but yeah Diablos I, I didn't recognize it at first the head I did a little bit but the legs looked a little crab-like and I, I, I can't remember if it had crab-like legs in the game um but uh so lieutenant artemis is played by millie jovovich and she has a uh, ti is in her unit along with megan good and diego boneta uh to a new world the soldiers are shocked to discover that this hostile and unknown environment is home to enormous and terrifying monsters immune to the to their firepower in their desperate battle for survival the unit encounters the mysterious hunter it, uh, played by tony ja whose unique skills allow him to stay one step ahead of the powerful creatures uh, uh, as Artemis and Hunter slowly build trust, she discovers that uh, Hunter is part of a team led by the Admiral, who is Ron Perlman. Facing a danger so great it could threaten to destroy the world, the brave warriors combine their unique abilities to band together for the ultimate showdown. Monster Hunter is directed by Mortal Kombat and Resident Evil's Paul W.S. Anderson and is based on the global video game series Phenomenon. Um, I mean... 
We don't see much there, but that looks like just typical Paul W.S. Anderson Resident Evil crap from his movies where it's like, what is it? And it's like, you know, let's build up this tension, which he's terrible at doing. Uh, and then this big giant CGI monster flies out of the uh, the dirt or, or the sand or salt or whatever they're going <laughs> to they're gonna do with it. Um, and then she's got like a, a Gatling gun. She's on top, like on the back of a, a truck, um, like a Jeep unit. And she's got like this giant... Uh, gun on there on top and then ti is like out loose with his hand you know we you saw it in the trailer there the footage but it's like i don't know like that this whole idea of like oh it's people from earth and they get sent to another dimension like i'm just like you know where the monsters are i'm like what why couldn't paul ws anderson just make a fantasy movie um where where it's like it just follows tony jaw's character and maybe miljovic's character and they just exist in the monster hunter world and there's that's it. Like, you know, that's like, because I, I think Paul W. Sanderson has this thing where he's like, I got to bring the audience into the world. And he doesn't know how to do that other than just literally doing that. Like, hey, let's just have people who aren't from this world enter the world. Or let's have Alice's character wake up with amnesia so the audience knows as much as she does. And they have to learn, you know, as she learns in the movie. He just picks the most obvious and lazy ways to do it. And it's like, well, why don't you just have a bunch of characters start off? And they're just on that world and you show them through visuals and storytelling what that world is like. And, and you know, and because they they won't know what to expect around the next corner. Like, why don't you actually shock them? Um, but uh, but, you know, that's um, Paul just seems like one of those guys where he's he keeps getting jobs because he's under budget. And he's you know, he's he seems like a nice guy to work with. Um, and he probably just he compromises a lot. Like if they're like, hey, you can't do these three things. He's probably like okay, I'll figure it out. Like, so he's probably just a really laid back dude, but unfortunately it's like when you have these properties, like these video game properties, you know, it's like, and you're trying to bring them to a mass audience, he just does it in the laziest way possible. Like, I don't care that it's, it's not full of fanboy and fangirl moments and stuff. I just care that it doesn't seem like a, a good representation of the source material. And that's just how I feel. Um, but he made a ton of money off Resident Evil, so what do I know, right? Um, but anyway, that was kind of boring. So let's go look up a Monster Hunter trailer. Let's look up for one for Iceborne so we can promote this game. I'd rather promote the game than the movie um, at this point because that trailer in the first... I remember the first trailer didn't do anything for me. I can't even remember it fully. Um, so we have this trailer here we're going to pull up. It's uh, from a year ago. It's the Gamescon, uh, Gamescom uh, 2019 trailer. Or actually, you know what? No, let's do the reveal trailer. The Monster Hunter Iceborne reveal trailer. We'll do a trailer reaction to this now. And I encourage you guys to go pick up Monster Hunter uh, World on you know on any system that you can play it on. And uh, pick up Iceborne, which is the, the new add-on game. Like the expansion to it. Uh, which I don't own yet, but I'm gonna, as soon as we beat Monster Hunter World, I'm gonna dive into Iceborne and play that as well. So, um, so let's go ahead and do a reaction to this trailer. Hey. Oh. Hey, do you hear that? Is it the wind? That's cool. See, these characters look interesting. Is that singing? That's cool. Like, that that's a pretty good way to start off a trailer. Oh, man. Look at that. You got these nice, like, Vista beauty shots. You got warriors and their calicos walking through the snow, leaving a, a trail. And you got these cutaways to these monsters. Look at those weapons! Like a giant bone sword. Like, like when it, the contrast between that trail, that teaser we just saw, and this is like, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you need like Peter Jackson to make like a, a Monster Hunter World movie. You need someone with a vision and someone that's like thinks big and doesn't have like a you know forty million dollar budget <laughs> or something. Whoa, look at that. Dang. It's just, oh, that was cool. I have not seen this trailer. I'm just realizing now. I saw some footage of this and played the demo at E3 um, uh, last year, I think it was. But I did not uh, watch a trailer on it. So uh, this, is, this is pretty awesome. All right. I love running around. I have a giant hammer when I play the game, um, but I like the giant sword here. I think when I played the demo of this, I had like a giant gun. I'm just not a gun person when it comes to fantasy stuff. Um, I like I don't like the projectiles and stuff. I like to go in and just 
you know, club things. <laughs> wow. Unidentified tracks are cropping up all over the new world. It's having an And see, I feel like, like this, obviously they're catering to a different audience. This is to a video game audience. But I, I feel like you can't treat people like they're idiots. Like, if, if you just show a trail like this where it's like, look at all these monsters and look what these people got to go up against and stuff, I think people would be intrigued by that. They'd be like, hey, that looks interesting. Especially if the CGI is good. That's what it really comes down to. Um, so, uh, so yeah, you go like, oh, wow, this seems... I feel like the new movie is... It's just like... It, nobody looks that cool. Even Tony Jaa, I saw, uh, like, a screenshot of him. And he's, a, he's awesome. I can't, I'm excited to see him, like, do... You know, um, kind of like his thing, like martial arts and things like that in the mo in the movie. But but seeing him like in that costume, I was just kind of like, I'm like, come on, man! Like, look at all the cool costumes that are in this mo uh, in this game, and the the movie just doesn't seem to translate any of that like, at all. Oh, there you go. Get some vitality in there. <laughs> Um, so there you go. So there's the difference between the two. Um, and I'll just, I'll just end it there. I don't know if there's a little bit more, but I'll end it there at the three minute, six second marker. Um, so Iceborne is out. I would say go get Iceborne. Go, if you, if you want to lo learn about Monster Hunter World, um, and typically for anything, if you, if a movie's coming out, it's based on a book or a comic or a video game or whatever, like go to the source material and check that out. Uh, you know, get that perspective because typically it's going to be better. Um, it's just it's it's so typical like uh hollywood and like paul w sanderson uh you know where they're just like we need a new franchise and you you made us like a billion dollars with resident evil which congratulations but those are six of the probably the worst movies that exist out there in my opinion um and so they're like hey you made us a ton of money uh, on these pieces of crap why don't you take this franchise that has a beloved you know like a fan base that really loves this uh you know this these games and stuff and why don't you take that and also make them crap but make us a ton of money and I just hope people are on to it now and just, and, you know, I, I don't know. I, it's like I always I, I don't like to discourage people to incur, you know, to go see uh, art or, you know, like or buy art or things like that, like movies, like even though they're soulless corporate, uh, uh, you know, cakes that they bake, you know, kind of um, there is still some art even to movies I don't like even the Resident Evil movies. I'm not a big fan of them, but there's some stuff art to them you know to, to an extent filmmaking is art and it's not an easy thing to do uh so you know to, to cut everybody slack i know i'm a harsh critic on those movies but i love that franchise and and that the thing about that franchise although it's not like this insanely smart cerebral thing like it, you know res evil's not like known for that it does have a lore that is interesting and those movies touch on zero percent of it uh they're just soulless and 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 just hacky in every way in my opinion and that's what I feel like this, like I'm starting to get into the Monster Hunter world and I'm like, yeah, this world is so rich. Like as the gamer, like I was playing, you know, Monster Hunter world and I'm like, I don't know any of these things. Like, I think it took me like a good five hours of playing the game to really get a, a basic, uh, you know, understanding of the universe. And I liked that though. I was like, this is great. And that works great for a video game. So I understand the movie, you got to do things a little differently, but you don't have to be so on the nose. It's like, you don't have to literally be like, hey, let's put humans from earth into this alternate reality so that the audience can literally grab onto these characters and go and learn as they learn because that just sets you up for all this terrible exposition which paul anderson's great at where it's just people explaining stuff to each other and you're not really visually showing anyone anything and you're not learning by just watching stuff like if there's a lot of great sci-fi out there when you, you just you're that's the thing about sci-fi and fantasy is like you're supposed to just kind of get swept up in it you're not really supposed to be spoon-fed it it's supposed to hit you out of left field and kind of draw you in and you just find characters that you like. And as the story progresses, you latch on to them, but not because you're, uh, you know, getting spoon fed exposition from them. Um, it's because they do things in the story that affect the story, that enhance the story, that enhance each other as characters that really pull you in. And I just think Paul W. Sanderson has zero uh, you know, ability to do that in anything he does. Like, uh, like Mortal Kombat was fine for the time it came out in. Uh, you know, it, it was fine. It was like the first successful video game adaptation. So he gets a lot of credit for that. And I like that movie, actually. I think it's really good. And I think what they did was they, they kind of, they're not very deep characters in that movie, but you get to know enough about Liu Kang and Sonya Blade and stuff that 
you kind of learn about them. And that game, literally that game was about humans being pulled into the nether realm or whatever, <laughs> like to, and you know, uh, get into battle for Mortal Kombat. Like they were on Outworld or whatever. Yeah, Outworld, not nether realm. I think nether realm's the studio. Um, but they kind of get pulled in. And so it's like, that makes sense for, okay, we're going to make a movie of Mortal Kombat. Let's make earthlings come to this place and we have to explain things. Well, that's kind of in the game. So that makes sense. But Resident Evil is not really like that, and neither is Monster Hunter World. So I think uh, I think Paul Anderson just latched on to, oh, what worked for Mortal Kombat? Oh, I brought people from Earth into this realm. And it's like, yeah, but that's that story. That's not these stories, dude. So, like, so yeah, so they're very lazy. The attempt is very lazy. So, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so you got that little 17-second trailer, uh, which was a waste of uh, 17 seconds. Why did anyone even edit that together and release it and say the movie's coming out December? It doesn't make any sense. Like, just put that... That movie on VOD and just forget about it like and don't make any more sequels like just let it die it's I don't think that movie is going to do well and uh and I you know I don't want to see any more Paul W.S. Anderson uh, video game movies I just don't um so uh so yeah you guys let me know if you feel differently if you're Paul Anderson and you're watching this or Mila Jovovich like I sorry I know I'm a, a tough critic on that stuff but these are things I love, and uh, and of course I'm going to be critical because I want. If you're going to bring them to a mass audience to get millions of people to you know like what I like, I'd rather be the best representation of it. And I think you guys did a terrible job with Resident Evil um, in that regard. And I don't want to see that done with Monster Hunter World. And and please God, don't make a Mega Man movie after this. Um, so uh, anyway, those are my thoughts. You guys, let me know what you think down below, and we'll continue the conversation as always down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.